precious, precious friends. Wow, precious is quite a name. When you use the word precious, it's precious. We look at a, a parent and a child, the relationship between a child and a parent. God said that we mustn't provoke our children to wrath, to anger. And he says that we should train them up in his love, in his righteousness, in his ways, in humility, in patience, in kindness, how to forgive quickly. Don't teach them about Father Christmas and Easter bunnies and dirty jokes and teach them how to drink and smoke and pornography and all the rest and lies. No. A parent must be repentant, they must be born again, and they must be humble and love God with all their heart, mind, soul and strength. And then they will be able to love their children. So many countries they've taken a new law to say, no more disciplining children. Wow. So I think many parents, they don't know Jesus and the Holy Spirit and Father God's compassion and mercy. They've used the rod without compassion and mercy. Because in the book of Proverbs, King Solomon writes, spare the rod and hate the child. In other words, you must discipline your children. But many governments have taken away discipline because parents don't know how to discipline properly. And then they make the child full of fear and full of rebellion and they're one person in front of you. But when, they, when you've gone out the room, they turn into someone else because they weren't trained up with God's Holy Spirit, His love and compassion. God draws us with loving kindness and mercy. So if an adult has made a mistake, can repent and come back to Father God and say, Avinu Malkeinu, Hashem, Lord, Allah, Almighty God, Yahweh, Jehovah, the great I am, please forgive me. I want to be born again. Fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I can have compassion and mercy and tenderness and kindness and patience and joy in bringing up my child. Please help me, Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I might be able to teach my child how to prophesy the Word of God, not prophesy funny things, the Word of God. Joel chapter 2 verse 29. And then you're going to see a very special child that will learn to trust in the Holy Spirit as their teacher and not their parent. The Holy Spirit as their teacher and not the teacher at school. The Holy Spirit will lead them, guide them, remind them of things to come. <laughs> and then when it comes to the child, it says, obey your parents in everything. Wow, there are many parents today, they want to kill their parents, uh, many children, they want to kill their parents, cut them off, teach them a lesson, get rid of them, and they wonder why their life is in a big mess. Oh Lord, have mercy on the children. Teach them as well. They need to repent and be born again. If you children have made a mistake, go to Father God, Hashem, Allah, Almighty God, the Great I Am, Jehovah, Yahweh, Jah. And just like that, repent and ask him to forgive you like David did in Psalm 51. And he will. Ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit. And then you can honor your mother and father. Go back to them and say, I'm sorry, I love you. If they've died, just make right with God and love other parents that are around you. Put that faith into practice. There's no more guilt or fear or condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus the Messiah. He's come to set the captives free that we can love one another so that we can be in heaven, on earth, in our hearts with one another, forgiving each other and loving each other and being very sensitive to each other. It's not called eggshells, walking on eggshells, being the love of Christ, loving each other. Sometimes it's difficult. And then we can go to heaven forever to be with each other because we have a having heaven on earth together in Jesus name Amen